Hi, my name is Bonnie Barker. I'm with BonnieBayCrochet.com and welcome to my very first crochet along. Um, for this crochet along, we are going to be making this really fun, cozy cabled crocheted scarf. Um, just want to just give you another view of this. Okay, this is um, a lot of fun to make. The one I'm wearing is actually made using Scarfy, Lime Brand Scarfy yarn. And if you don't have that line around the house or able to go out and get some, don't worry. Um, let me show you another example. This is made using um, the new yarn that's called Care on Cakes. And I'll show you the back side and all the different color variations in one scarf. Um, it's a little bit longer than the Lion Brand yarn simply because there's more yards in the, in the cake than there is in the scan. Um, if you don't have those yarns, that's fine. You can just use whatever you have in your stash. Uh, make sure it's worsted weight, and I would say kind of medium to, you know, to on the larger side of the number four category. As you well know, there are many, uh, a variety of different sizes within even that one category. So I would encourage you to get something on the thicker side. Um, if you don't have that, then you, I would encourage you to downsize the hook. You're also going to need a size K crochet hook um, to keep with the gauge. Now, I do have a gauge. It's stated in the pattern. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it since it's a scarf and it gauge is really kind of not relevant as much except if you're trying to get a specific specification or size um, for your finished product. Okay, well, um, I think that's about it. Oh, one more thing. If you want to get the hard copy of the pattern, it's going to be, it is available on Ravelry.com. If you go to Ravelry and you look at my name, Bonnie Barker, um, and go to my shop, I do have patterns for sale there, and it is one of the patterns. Um, because you're participating as part of this, this crochet along online, um, you can have that for free, but you're going to need a special code to put in into the checkout. And that code is cables are cool. C-A-B-L-E-S-A-R-E-C-O-O-L. No capitals, just all lowercase, all run together, no spaces, okay? So you put that code in there and your pattern is free. And just thanks again for joining me and, um, well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we're ready to begin. Um, first we start with our slip knot. Always leave a nice generous tail. I'd say anywhere between, you know, four to five inches is, is pretty good because um, that way it makes it a lot easier to hide this when we're finished with our pro project. Okay, now we're going to chain 31. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I'll try to slow down a little bit, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now, if you're brand new to crochet, um, you need to go back and probably look at some basic stitches. Um, this is really for intermediate um, crocheters, but if you are a beginner and you know the basic stitches, Please, please join in and, and um, you should have no trouble with this. Okay, now that I have my chain, starting chain of 31 stitches, we're going to crochet our double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. So there's first, second, third. So right here, we're going to wrap and we're going to make a double crochet. Okay, so what I want you to do is go all the way across the row. When you are finished, you should have 28 double crochets all the way across. Now in that stitch count, I am not counting the turning chain. The turning chain, I'd like to consider that a turning chain, uh, or at least as far as this pattern goes. So I'm gonna finish going across the row. I'm gonna pause this and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I've gone all the way across, so I should have 28 double crochets. Okay, now for my turning, I'm gonna chain two especially since we're just doing post stitches here. Um, if you've never done post, front post, double crochet, or back post, double crochet, let me just explain the difference real quickly. If I'm going to make a regular double crochet, I would just go in to the front stitches, the, the top stitches. And if you look at the top, you can see like a V on top. 
Okay, that's the way you would normally crochet stitches. Um, we're not going to do that with the post stitches. With the post stitches, what we're going to do, we're going to skip the first one. We're going to wrap the stitch, and we're going to go in the in the front, and then the stitch goes all the way, the hook rather, goes all the way around the stitch like you're giving it a belt. Let me show you. See, it's all the way around, and then we complete our double crochet the way you normally would. That is called a front post double crochet. Now the next stitch we're going to do is a back post double crochet. Very similar, except instead of going in the front side door, we're going to come in the back door. I'm going to take the hook, put it in the back, go around the front, and then go around the back again. So the hook is giving it a belt, if you could see, but, but from the back side, and then I complete the double crochet. Okay, then we're going to do front post, and then we're going to do a back post. We're going to alternate front post, back post, front post, back post, like this. I'm going to complete this row. Do front post. And wrap it, come in the back. I'll do it, see it from the back side. I also have another video on front post double crochets and back post double crochets should you need more help with this. I'm going to finish this row and I'll get back back to you. Okay, I've gotten to my to the end of my row and I am ending on a front post double crochet. Now we still have the turning chain and I want you to put a half double crochet. If you're not sure what a half double crochet is, you wrap the stitch, stick it in the entire chain, not the top of the chain, but the entire chain, that big hole there. Wrap it, pull it through all three. Okay? And we're going to chain two. We're going to turn. Now we're going to do this again, except we're going to start with the back post double crochet. We're going to back post double crochet. Okay. And then a front post double crochet. Alternate all the way across. Back post double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. Okay. And so what you're going to do, you're going to alternate. So this is technically, let's take a look at it. This is row one, our foundation row. This is row two. We started on a front post. And then this is row three. We started on the back post double crochet. You're going to, after you finish this row, you're going to do three more rows. Starting one row is going to start, or the even rows are going to start with the front post double crochet and end with the front post double crochet. The odd rows, like the one we're working on now, will start with a back post double crochet and end with a back post double crochet. That's because we're working over an odd number of stitches. And don't forget to add the half double crochet in the turning chain. So that is your first six stitches and the end of this um, segment. So join us for the next part, part two, and we'll begin the cable. Bye-bye.